man who dodged the bullet, I'm telling you, you got you guys keep playing with fire, eventually the fire is gonna burn you, all right? I'm telling you, I know quarantine can be lonely. I know that you might need that that extra loving on this side, that 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 female touch. But I'm telling you guys, you can't turn a garden tool into a housewife. You cannot do it. Once she's a garden tool, she's always a garden tool for the community, okay? Once she's a party girl, she's always going to be a party girl. And the email I received from this subscriber is going to, uh, I'm going to enlighten you with some of the things she shared with me because I think it's important that all men, whatever walk of life you come from, it's important information that we get this out there to help other people grow and learn. But before we get started, make sure you like the video for more red pills and share the content for this channel to grow to help more and more guys get this knowledge and information. Let's talk about the email I received and let's dive into some crucial, essential tips and advice that I would give to all men. All right, let's read the email. So he says, to sum it up, I got out of a relationship with a 30 year old lady I was dating a month ago. Uh, that's a little bit old, but anyways. I am a guy in my mid to late 20s with a respectable career and education for context. Okay, so this is probably, I don't know, in your 20s, your mid to late 20s, man, you're so close to your prime, it's really dangerous, and, and it's dangerous in general messing with these older chicks, but they can sense potential, and they're going to try to lock you down, because trust me, this 30-year-old wasn't sitting at home just knitting and, and singing kumbaya and like going to church every Sunday. Well, she might have been near the end trying to secure the man, uh, a beta male provider, but this chick was getting down, all right? So all throughout her 20s, shoot, we're talking about 15 to probably 30 years old still, she's getting down, all right? And you're in your late 20s with a respectable career and education, so you have all there is to lose. You have a lot on the table to lose. She has nothing to lose. We got texting, <clears throat> we got texting and talking lots during the lockdown, and I felt like she was a genuine woman who was interested in me. I had to leave her because I was a bit worried about her past. She engaged in clubbing, partying, drinking, and smoking as a destructive coping mechanism. Coping mechanism. When she was younger, as something really bad happened a decade ago. They love to make excuses. It's a coping mechanism, right? I just had to go to the club, and I had to get ran through, and... I had to constantly party and have that nose candy and just let all these guys just do these different things with me because I, I didn't respect myself and I went through such a destructive past that I just needed it. Guys, don't fall for their BS. Don't fall for their fibs and their lies. It doesn't matter. You're not responsible for the woman's past. You're only responsible for your future and who you decide to bring along with you if you decide to bring anyone along for the ride, which I tell you guys not to because it's just so much mind games and mental gymnastics that you should just be focusing on yourself and building up something. And if she wants to come along, that's okay. But like I said, guys, I, I'm not a fan of it, all right? I'm just not a fan of it. It's a lot of work. She never told me or her family or friends about it. So how did you find out? I'm just wondering how you found out if she never told you or her family and friends about it. That concerns me because she's already hiding information from you. Is it her mannerisms? Because you can easily tell, I'm sure, if, I mean, these chicks are already aging at 20 years old. They're looking like they're 30 to 40 years old at my age. I can't, I'm 22 right now. The, all the girls that used to party and club and they were on that nose candy and alcohol and, and they were smokers and they were free spirited. They're looking like they're 40 years old right now, all right? I'm not even going to lie. It catches up to them as soon as they hit around 23, 24 years old, where they start looking old, and it's, it happens quick. Like, they'll wake up one day and just look in the mirror, and damn near, that, that wall that we talk about, that wall that they usually hit later on, that, that mug is right here, fake, looking at them in the eye like, oh, man, <laughs> it's too late. They already passed that wall. They damn near slammed through it, all right? Um, so that's, yeah, that's concerning that you never, like she never told you about it. Obviously she's not going to tell you. She's trying to get a relationship out of you. Um, she wanted to go abroad with her female friends and open up about going clubbing possibly, which I wasn't comfortable with. So here we have a 30 year old woman who is still wanting to club, who also wants to date you because she thinks that you'll be a chump and you won't realize what she's trying to do here. 
All right. Anytime a female goes abroad with female friends, shit, by herself. Anytime she goes abroad with female friends, that is a recipe for basically I want to get smashed out by a ton of different dudes in different countries and whatever happens, happens. You know, I was just traveling and it, it just happened because women are ambiguous. So they don't want to be necessarily responsible for the decisions they make. They just kind of want it to just fall into place. So she travels, if she's doing all these different things, she went to the club, she had a little bit too much to drink. It's not her responsibility if a little something, something slips into something, something, you know what I'm saying? So it's less responsibility with her and you have every right to feel like something's wrong here. I, like I said in the last video, trust your intuition guys. Your intuition will tell you much more than, than anything and anything that's in the dark with women will always come to the light eventually because they can't just hold it in, all right? They can try their best but if you're up on this knowledge and you're red pill aware, you'll understand the, all the signs that you need in order to avoid these types of females. Just stuck in a void a month later after letting go. She was quite keen on becoming exclusive after having a few dates and I wasn't ready at all. All right, the reason she's she wants to be exclusive and, and she wants to tie you down and, and get commitment as soon as possible is because she understands that her clock has struck midnight at 27, all right? After her 560th line of nose candy, after she slammed uh, 780 shots of Patron, and after she slept with a 700th man, she realized, hey, you know what? I'm going to hit 30 soon. I'm starting not to get as many looks as I used to before. I'm tired of being passed around. I'm tired of being treated like community property. But she still engages in the community property activity. So she's putting herself in positions to be treated like community property because she doesn't respect herself. She's low value, all right? And she has no self-esteem. So she's used to this terrible treatment. And you decided to just date her for a little bit. Probably because it's quarantine and you were just bored. But you have to be aware of these females. They'll try to tie you down. They'll try to do whatever, man. They're crazy, all right? They'll try to accuse you if you get out of this situation. So you might have dodged, like I said, a massive, massive bullet. I found it a bit alarming and had to leave the whole thing because I couldn't come to terms with her past. Or, I mean, she's older than you too. Like, what are you doing? Like I, I, I know what you're doing because you want you want the sex, but you you have to respect yourself enough to be like, listen, I, I'm not going to date this 30 year old carousel rider because she's a 30 year old carousel rider, and I'm in my 20s. I'm about to hit my prime, so I need to realize that I am this chick's last option. All right, I am not going to be her buzzer beater. I am not going to be her last resort. I'm not gonna throw out the lifesaver if she's drowning. She, she can drown, all right? She can drown, let her drown. She did this to herself, she put herself in a situation. Her past is her past, and her past will explain a lot about her future and how she is currently. So if you understand her past of wanting to club, wanting to party, wanting to do all these things with girls trips, just let her do those things, and don't be a part of it. Do not date this woman seriously. This explains a lot of what's going on in today's society and everything that's messed up. And a lot of women fail to realize that by the time they reach 30 years old, they should have already been in a marriage or a long-term relationship for about five years before that, maybe six to seven years before that. But instead, they would rather party, they would rather smoke, they would rather do all these different activities and get more experience, not just educationally wise. But this woman enjoys the street so much that even though she realizes because she tried to date you ASAP and try to get you to commit within the first few dates, she realizes that, but she her, her, her pool to the streets and that street life being community property, it is such a strong pool and it draws her in still that she's willing to sacrifice potentially being in a relationship with you because she wants to be treated like community property still. She wants to still be a part of that lifestyle and, and go clubbing and partying and drinking and living her quote unquote free independent lifestyle, free spirited, all right? You gotta let these chicks go, man. They're gonna continue to do this forever and they're gonna be depressed while they do it and they're gonna end up with cats at the end of it all. So you just have to let them go. Don't get caught up on this chick. I know you said you got to the point where you're almost cynical because of these women. That's why I tell you, why even concern yourself with these chicks these days when you could be stacking paper, you could be focusing on yourself, getting bigger in the gym. You could be working on all types of things to benefit yourself and you don't have to deal with the mental gymnastics of some 30 year old post wall thought. And, and, and instead be like, listen, what can I do to improve my situation in my life? Because I want the best results for my life. I don't want to deal with this chick that's 30 years old, still looking to get flown out with her friends. 
And that streetwalker energy, I don't want it a part of my life. Like you can go take that streetwalker energy to some other beta male because I'm on my purpose and I'm focused. That's the mindset you should have. So don't get cynical of this chick. Let her enjoy her party years. Let her go fly abroad. You don't concern yourself with her. You remove yourself from the situation. You let her continue to destroy her life. And you sit back, you sit back and chill, man. And you just watch it. You, you go like this. You, you chilling, bruh. You chilling. You're focused on your purpose. She can go do whatever she wants. You're sitting back. Just post it. Like I said in the backyard video when I was talking about the OnlyFans girls, you can't concern yourself with these women nowadays. They're going to get their money. They're going to get their exposure. They're going to get their attention. You just sit back and chill. That's all there is to it, guys. Focus on yourself. Focus 100% all your energy on building yourself up. Love you guys. Stay blessed. Like the video. Share the video to get more men up to this knowledge. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Have a good one.